Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Solomon Jagwe. And as promised, I'm back with another tutorial, this time in Blender. And if you remember, I'd uh, posted a previous video of me showing how you can actually connect your Blender, you know, you connect Blender 2.9 in and be able to sculpt on the iPad Pro. And I was able to show that in this video on my YouTube channel. Uh, you can go ahead and watch it. I'll, I'll put the link below so you can see it from beginning to end. But it, I demonstrated from like the beginning how I was able to sculpt this character using the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil. So I, ha I got a lot of comments and requests on to show, like to walk through the whole process of how to actually connect the iPad Pro to your computer. And as you can tell in this video, I have it connected. Now, the day that I uh, captured this video, I was using Easy Canvas, but there's a new version of Easy Canvas that enables you to connect wirelessly. And this is a, you get like a, I think it's a trial version. You can get 40 day, 14 days of trial before you can use it. And then ultimately what you want to be able to do is to sculpt wirelessly. So you can actually pick up your tablet and just go to you to somewhere like on the, in the living room and sit down and start sculpting and that's what i was able to do so i'm gonna be able to demonstrate from beginning to end and kind of walk you through what you need to do to connect these uh, two programs and the hardware itself so first what you need is you need to go to the app store right so there are two versions the easy canvas it's not the pro version and then there's easy canvas pro and easy canvas pro is the one that has the option to enable your laptop your ipad pro to work wirelessly and you find it on the app store you simply have to go to search for easy canvas in the search field and you'll be able to find it so now make sure you look at the details and the information that's included on the on the app page because there are some you know disclaimers in there that you need to be aware of so this is not a free program <laughs> just so you know you need to be you, you have to pay for it but it's not very expensive and i think for the work that we do uh, especially as artists who are trying to create while on the go i think this is a good option so go ahead and search for easy canvas pro uh, there are two of them is easy canvas and then easy canvas pro the one that you need for the wireless option is easy canvas pro Okay, so if anyone is asking, if you're, you're wondering which version you, th you need, you need to get Easy Canvas Pro. And once you download the app, there are two other programs that you're going to need. And these are for your desktop, either on your Mac Book Pro or on your PC. And the program that you, you need first is Easy Canvas Pro, the desktop version. P make sure you click on PC Program Download right there on, on their website. So the website is Easy and Light easyandlight.com and then you you'll be able to find it there. and then the, the other problem that you need is a tablet pro so you see the little uh on the left hand side the menu that you are using right there that enables you to zoom in rotate and pan that is m made available by ipad the sorry the tablet pro okay and so the for starters you have to make sure your computer is connected using a cable Okay, make sure before you, you start using uh, Easy Canvas Pro that you connect the, the iPad Pro with a cable to the computer. Okay, the next step, make sure, please, this is a, a crucial point, make sure you're using the same Wi-Fi connection. So your, the Wi-Fi connection that is in your, that your computer is connected to has to be the same as the iPad Pro. Right, and then that will make it possible to connect. Okay, and then when you're ready, unplug that cable, unplug the iPad Pro cable, go ahead and fire up Easy Canvas Pro. And it's gonna it's gonna actually be instantaneous. It's gonna go through a loop where it's looking for the Wi-Fi connection. And if you connect it properly, if you say the same Wi-Fi connection, you'll be able to see the desktop reflected. So again, another point to uh, I want to make is this is a, a desktop extension. So it's taking your PC and uh, extending the desktop onto your iPad Pro. That's why that's how you're able to drag, for example, uh, Blender or any other 3D uh, uh, sculpting program 
onto the iPad Pro. So in this instance, we are using Blender and that's what I wanted to demonstrate. And so if you look at it here, you can see that on the screen, I have Blender running and I always leave like room on the left hand side when I'm scaling up the window for Blender so that I have iPad Pro on the left. And then on the right hand side, because it doesn't fill up the entire screen on in Easy Canvas, you're able to put the other menu on the right hand side. Okay. All right. Let's go to the, this. This is the final step that I was telling you about that you have to unplug that cable. Now we're going to go through the whole process. And I'm telling you, the, the, you're going to be amazed at how well it works. And I, I mean, I've seen some comments where people are saying that it's not working very well on their computers. But if you have a good bandwidth, right, and you've connected everything properly, you have installed a program on the desktop or your PC or your MacBook Pro, it doesn't have to be a Pro, but your MacBook, it it's going to connect wirelessly. And the beauty of it is that you're able to work uh, independent of the computer without being tethered to the computer. Yeah, that is the value of it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, launch, I think, in a Blender. I'm going to load Blender so that you can actually see it uh, displayed here. On, and then we'll do some sculpting. And you can see the mouse is moving properly the same way that is moving on the desktop. And as I said before, you make sure you have some space on the left and the right hand side so that you can the, the uh, interface fits on the iPad Pro. Now, remember, the iPad Pro is not like HD dimensions. It's, it's more square than it's rectangular. So and Tablet Pro makes it possible for me to not have to use the keyboard and I can work independent of uh, the navigation. So I can still use the navigation in Blender, as you can tell here. And but having that uh, iPad, uh, sorry, Tablet Pro uh, program running, it and it makes it possible for me to leave the keyboard on the other hand side, sorry, on on the top, for example, as you saw, and then navigate and then sculpt while I'm just independent on it. So if I step away from my desktop and go to the couch, for example, and sit down, I'll be able to work wireless. Now I haven't tested how far you can walk away from your computer before it stops working. Uh, and maybe I'll do that in the, in the next stage. I'll, I'll try to start the program here in my next video and then maybe try walking all the way either to the balcony or to my room and scalp from there and see how far the range, you know, it offers you. Because if you have like a big living room, maybe you have like a dining table where, or maybe a space that you've dedicated to sculpting, uh, this might be a good uh, kind of setup for you to walk away from your desktop and find like a lounge area and just sculpt away. Anyway, so this is what I, I was hoping to show everyone that you can sculpt in Blender wirelessly and that you can use a Tablet Pro. All these programs are now wi working wirelessly with no cable connected to the iPad Pro. And I hope this is helpful. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe, <laughs> hit that notification bell uh, so that you're alerted when I post a new video. And please click like on the video. and. I'll continue to share more insight. And as always, I encourage you to never give up on your dream. Dare to dream big. And I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.